Alrighty, peoples, this is Ross the Fig Boss. I'm very excited to announce that we are going to be doing a giveaway of fig cuttings very shortly here on my blog uh, for charity. And five lucky winners will receive a minimum, I think, around 15 cuttings. We'll go over all the details in this video as this is just going to serve as the announcement. If you are intending to participate in the giveaway, please watch this entire this in video in its entirety because I want I don't want you guys to miss any of the details because there are important steps to make sure that this goes a little smoothly. So, as I said, this isn't going to happen on YouTube, but it's actually going to happen here on my blog. Is that's exactly what we're looking at right now. And you can see that uh, the website is figboss.com. For anyone that's not familiar, it's down in the description of the video. And we did actually some giveaways for charity in October. Uh, we've done other giveaways in the past, which I'll talk about uh, briefly. Um, this last one that we did at least was in a similar manner to how this one is going to work in that at least with this one, I had posted photos of a particular fig variety. And then whoever would guess, the two people who would accurately guess the variety would win uh, cuttings of that particular variety. And we then sent them, after receiving payment for charity, it was of course in support of my two good friends who grow figs, uh, Doug and also Joe Puckett. Either, whether that was due to the fires in Northern California or Hurricane Laura down in Louisiana, they definitely needed some help. Um, it's been really tragic for the both of them and their families. Um, and I was just happy to at least do something. Um, this time around, we're gonna be supporting a different cause. It's the Functional, the Institute for Functional Medicine. And I'll talk about that and why I'm supporting them towards the end of this video. But I really feel strongly about this particular institute and what they stand for and how this all relates to my own health. Now, the people, all they had to do to win was just to comment down below on the blog. You log in here. If you're unfamiliar, you can just subscribe. You can create an account and then you can actually comment down here in the comments. And whoever guessed correctly first, the two people to guess correctly won the cuttings um, after, of course, I received payment. So it'll be a similar thing, except we're not going to have any sort of guessing game. It's just going to be whoever is the first five people to comment down below on the blog post that I create at a future date and time. I don't know what that future date and time will be it's gonna kind of be a surprise. So what I would suggest that you do if you really wanna win is pay attention to your email, that's it. And subscribe to the notifications of our blog down here at the bottom of the blog. If you put in your email here, you'll just get automatically notified whenever I uh, create a new blog post. So by doing that, again, you'll be notified and you'll exactly know when this was created so that you can then go to that blog post and be one of the five, the first five people to um, hopefully win the cuttings. So that's how it'll work. Once you of course win, um, there's a couple steps that I think we need to make sure is, is right. You're gonna also go down in the description of this video and you're gonna find a, a link. It's a one-time donation link that will direct you to my PayPal. And it's paypal.me slash Ross Ratty. And you will put in, in this particular box, you will put in $50, you will hit next, and then there's a note section and you will put in your address in the notes. That way I can send you the cuttings. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know who to send it to and you just sent me money for nothing. Um, so please don't forget your address. Also, don't check the box. There's a box on the next page after this that will uh, basically say that this was for uh, a product or service when this is just sort of uh, a nice little thing we're doing for charity. So you don't have to worry about that. 
Um, don't check the box just to make that clear. Um, I also want to mention that there is another, before I get into the details of what it is you're going to be receiving, there is another giveaway, by the way, before I lose too many people uh, that have probably already stopped watching the video, but there is another giveaway that will happen that I'm also participating in uh, that happens every year. It's an annual thing on FigBid that uh, Danny Gentile, the owner and operator of FigBid, runs. It's always a Super Bowl auction here in support of St. Jude's uh, Children's Hospital. And I think at least last year, maybe even the year prior, I know I've donated towards this particular auction. And once again, I will be donating, uh, I have already donated to this particular um, Super, Bowl, Super Bowl squares pool. So it kind of works like you would at work. You get a thing and, and depending on what the score is in the Super Bowl, um, you may end up winning. Um, so it usually ends up working out. You can buy yourself a square and it usually ends up working out to be quite a lot of prizes at the end of this if you do indeed win. Um, I will be donating at least to this particular um, auction, I guess, or maybe a squares pool, however you want to think about it, uh, three cuttings of Campanieri. So one set of Campanieri, if anybody that for whatever reason didn't end up getting them, still interested in that variety this is of course a chance to win so this charity is happening now the charity that i'm uh really announcing in this video is actually in partnership with a fellow grower his name is david burke you may know him maybe on facebook a part of some of the facebook communities um, he now has a website and a shop so he's quite entrepreneurial and it's called the fig hunter and he goes around California, um, at least I guess in his area. I don't know how far he's traveled out, but a lot of these Californians are wising up and going around and looking for interesting seedlings that they come across in California as they have the fig wasp and the, the black, AKA the blastophaga and are able to find genetics within the United States that are undiscovered and could be quite valuable. So, uh, David has uh, certainly been uh, an interesting character, and you could say, I would argue, is a very generous person. He's donated quite a bit for nothing, and he wants to continue that. He said he would. Uh, he says to me privately, he wants to donate ten thousand cuttings this year. So I don't know how he's going to achieve that. It seems um, like a very ambitious goal, but uh, I would imagine that you could. You could probably even reach out to David on Facebook uh, or maybe on his website here and you could uh, contact him and see what he has to say. I don't know. But he's also selling uh, particular varieties that he's found. And some of the varieties that he's found uh, that you will receive actually in the listing uh, or in this particular giveaway, excuse me, um, of the 15 cuttings that you will receive, let's go over the varieties right now. So some of them are from David and some of them are from myself. We'll talk about what the varieties are, what I think about the varieties here. And then at the end, we'll talk about the charity and, and why I am uh, essentially donating to this particular charity. So the first variety is called Igo Berry Tart. And don't get confused with Igo uh, from the USDA collection. This is a seedling, in fact. It looks, in fact, I would argue, like an amazing fig. I really do think this one's quite special. Now, I do want to make a disclaimer before we get into any further into this, is that most of David's varieties now have not been proven common just yet. So they are seedlings, meaning there's a 25% chance of any seedling that it will be common. There's a 25% chance that it will be a San Pedro. There's a 25% chance that it'll be a Smyrna. And there's a 25% chance that it'll be a Capra fig. So what we're all looking for and hoping for is that they're common. So it's a 25% chance that it'll be common. So you could make an argument and um, I would advise and recommend that most of you who buy 
or decide to participate, I should say, in this giveaway, that you either have the fig wasp or you could potentially live in a drier location. And we'll talk about why being in a drier location is a little bit important here. But certainly, um, there's a good possibility that some of these figs may end up dropping fruit um, years down the road and may not end up being common. So if you don't have the fig wasp in your location, they may not fruit for you. But it's not the end of the world, and I would argue that this is still a really good thing for charity. So uh, certainly if you're new to this, this is a good, affordable way to expand your fig collection, to trial new varieties that uh, not many people have, um, and to expose yourself to a wide variety of varieties. Um, and then, of course, at the end of the day, if let's say this doesn't work out and maybe one of them does prove to be a Smyrna or a San Pedro, um, then at least you could use it as rootstock. It's not the end of the world. It wouldn't be a total waste. I don't think any of this is a total waste, uh, even for some people who are definitely way into this So, and people who are very passionate. So I would just recommend... Um, that and also it just needs to be said that this is a, a little bit of a disclaimer so this variety however it, it does look extremely tasty i must say um however it probably doesn't do so great in a humid place and i would argue that most of the varieties that david has sent me probably will not Partly due to the fact that, of course, it's a seedling that has been adapted now to a California dry climate, but also just largely due to the shape. And this is a really a round fig here, or any of the flatter figs that are maybe your, your ciolato in shape, they just typically don't do as well with moisture, um, humidity, rain. So... Um, I don't personally think I'm going to be growing this particular one. Um, I wish I could because <laughs> it looks so darn good. Um, but I would just, you, uh, you know, I think it just uh, should be said is that for, you know, the facts purely of the fact of the shape, it makes it difficult to grow this one because it's going to be more prone to splitting in a, a more humid climate. Uh, the next variety is Liberty Red. And by the way, you guys will be receiving uh, two, two sticks of the Igo, two sticks here of the Liberty Red. This one also looks pretty darn good. Um, again, quite a flat fig. We don't know if it's common. You can read about it here on his website. You can see Liberty Red is a large seedling found in Tahama County just off the side of a frontage road. And you can read about all these different figs. I'm sure you can even ask David um, some questions about them. Uh, Firehouse is another one. And Firehouse is one that actually David sent to me um, for my own personal collection. However, as good as it looks, it is a flat fig. And again, I cannot grow this one. So I think it uh, definitely deserves a spot in someone's yard, but definitely not here. It just will not work out. So uh, you you have a chance. This isn't a guarantee, but you have a chance to receive one cutting of this particular variety. I only have two cuttings, so that's the best I can do. Um, okay, also there's a variety here called Hope that looks really, really good. Uh, actually, this is one that I'm going to trial here simply due to the fact that it has a more elongated shape, as you can see. Although, yes, it is quite round and perhaps uh, because of its shape, it may not be the best, but it has a longer neck, a longer stem. So this longer stem um, usually gives it some leeway and really helps it in more humid places. So this is one I'm going to trial. I'm going to see what the deal is. I actually think this fig looks pretty darn good. Personally, I think uh, it's pretty nice. Um, I imagine it's quite figgy. This one here is called, uh, oh, by the way, you'll receive two cuttings of this particular variety of hope. 
This one here is called Brett's Barnyard. And this one looks really good. Uh, definitely looks very syrupy, very juicy. It looks like the berry flavor probably is quite high on this one. Probably a very meaty fig. And uh, I'm also going to be growing this one here. Because again, it has a more elongated shape to it. And therefore is going to be a little bit better with the rain than let's say a flat fig, at least by uh, default. Here's some more photos of it. Definitely has some uh, minor similarities to, I guess, Black Mission, but the inside more reminds me actually of a Cavalieri, which is a pretty darn interesting fig. These other ones here don't remind me too much of anything else. I think they're quite unique. I haven't seen anything like them um, before. And then you also have a chance to win one. There's a chance, again, that I only have two cuttings of this particular variety. Again, David sent me this one for my own personal collection. It's called Amen's Citron. And again, it's very flat. Um, it looks really qu uh, quite tasty. Look at that pulp. I'm sure the berry flavor is quite good on it. Um, but again, because of that flat shape, it just will not work out here. And then the last variety that you will win uh, two, two cuttings from is called Winter's Gift. Which also looks quite figgy to me. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like uh, Italian 258 in a sense. So um, I'm sure it's different, but definitely has a similar appearance to it. Uh, all right. So then this is actually uh, what what you'll receive here in terms of your little package. Um, again, five packages, 15 cuttings, and that means there's five varieties so two from hope two from liberty red two from brett's barnyard two from the igo berry tart and then two from winter and then potentially one of the firehouse or one of the citron fig and then of course there's my own cuttings here so let's talk about that you have a chance to win two cuttings and I can't guarantee this for everybody because I I didn't have five sets of the cuttings so um, I have three varieties that that you have a chance to win so you're gonna win at least two of the three varieties and I have no control over which of the varieties that you are receiving um, I'm just gonna literally out random pick a package they're already prepackaged and that's the one you guys are gonna receive but it's gonna be two out of three for my own personal collection. Uh, one is the Daloso. Uh, the Daloso, by the way, you can read about it here on Figbid. This is my auctions um, that we've listed quite recently. I've also talked about this fig on the YouTube channel, which we have a video of right here. But it's a really good fig. It's unlike any other fig I personally have ever grown. It has a unique flavor to it, and it's really quite early. Highly recommend it. Um, the other cutting, the other variety that you guys have a chance to receive is called Negretta. And Negretta is, uh, probably one of the most reliable figs that exists. Believe it or not, it's really early. It's quite hardy. It's rain resistant. It just does well almost everywhere. Um, I think it's, for some reason, I don't I don't have great photos of it, and I think that's why it hasn't really caught too many people's attention this winter time when I was selling this variety. But we did have some sales on this one, and uh, I'm happy to continue to spread this one around and give it some more attention. That's for sure. I have one of these in ground. Uh, I also have a Daloso in the ground, and then here is the Raven de Calci. So this is the third variety that you could potentially receive. Again, two of these three. And this one, for whatever reason, is not talked about enough either. Really quite tasty, this fig. And it, again, I've, I've sort of talked about it to try to get people interested in it, but it's um, really quite similar in my mind to Italian 258. 
black Madeira. Uh, it has a really great flavor profile. Don't know why people aren't interested. It's a fig from Bode. Bode doesn't grow bad figs. I'll tell you that right now. Um, he's one of the most well-respected growers of figs in France. And I can assure you that uh, if he's growing it and he's selling it, it's probably a variety that you guys want to try. Um, I have not been disappointed once from any of his varieties. So uh, that's Raven de Calci. So there it is right there is essentially what you will receive is something like this. The ends are waxed. Mine are in these bags. And again, I th it's roughly around 15 cuttings or more. And what I'm asking for, by the way, is a $50 donation, again, to my PayPal. $10 is going to cost roughly $10 per person um, for shipping. And that will be sent priority because it's over a pound. I'm sure these packages are definitely over a pound in weight. And therefore, the uh, shipping is probably roughly around $10 a person. And then the remainder will be donated to um, the Institute of Functional Medicine. So let me talk now about why I'm donating to this particular cause, this particular institute. We've talked a lot about it on the channel recently, believe it or not, on our Fruit Talk episodes specifically, I've talked about this. My life has really been changed quite dramatically in terms of my health. And I really have a lot of a lot of it I have to owe to a particular doctor named Dr. Mark Hyman. He's a part of this institute. I think he was even one of the people who started, to, who created it. Um, he's definitely one of the leaders in functional medicine. What is functional medicine? It's different from traditional medicine that uh, most of your doctors that we see on a, on a annual basis or maybe even a daily basis, depending on how sick you guys are, they study traditional medicine. That's what doctors learn in school. And there's a lot of value to that. Of course, they advance us in things like cancer prevention or um, treating cancer, I should say, vaccines, surgery, uh, all kinds of things. We owe a lot of respect to traditional medicine. However, I have found that functional medicine is just a better approach uh, for being, in general, a healthier human being, uh, more taking a more preventative approach. Um, so as an example, here's uh, how the two different types of medicine would look at a particular issue. Let's say I came into my doctor and I said, hey doctor, uh, I have dry skin. And they say, oh, they look at your skin and they think, well, I think you have eczema. And that's how they diagnose you. Is they take all your symptoms that you might have and then they come up with a diagnosis and then they give you something for the diagnosis it's kind of like a band-aid your eczema doesn't necessarily my eczema if i had eczema would necessarily not go away um, even though i'm applying this ointment or lotion or whatever it is they give me um, it's not necessarily going to fix the root cause of the problem which is what functional medicine tries to do. And I think it does it really well, which essentially if I have dry skin, they're gonna say to me, a functional medicine doctor would say, well, why do you have dry skin? And they're gonna look into my history, my childhood, my habits, what I'm eating, you know, all kinds of various different things to figure out what it is that the root cause is causing my skin problems. And a lot of times, at least they believe, and I also am now a believer myself, that it starts in your gut. So I have personally, at least in the last five-ish years, have been on a health journey to try to figure out why I don't feel as good as I used to. I used to be obviously a lot younger, right? I'm 29 years old right now. But you know, at least in my 20s, I should be feeling pretty darn good, right? I mean, I was getting older, so you would think, oh, well, every year you get older, the worse you feel. But it was actually pretty quite serious. And I had a, you know, a ton of brain fog. 
um, allergies, um, all kinds of different problems with my health that I didn't even know were really even problems. As soon as I found Dr. Hyman, listened to his approach to functional medicine and how I could maybe even fix my problems, um, from there on I've totally changed my health and it only took me two days. And for a lot of us, believe it or not, an elimination diet is probably one of the best ways to dramatically change your health very quickly. So maybe some of us are sensitive to dairy or maybe we don't like meats or eggs or gluten. Gluten's a really big one and that was what it was for me is that I actually realized I have a sensitivity to gluten. So I stopped eating gluten. Two days later, I felt like a new person. Like I woke up from some dream and then over about 12 days, I had about 10 different things after 12 days of being gluten and dairy free that I could count and say these are positive benefits that have happened to me only within 12 days. My allergies in, uh, improved, um, I started sleeping better. Um, I started having better focus, better memory, less brain fog. And then of course, actually within about a month, I lost 10 pounds of body fat, only in a month. It just came right off me. Fat that I was accumulating over, I don't know, I guess, like I said, the last five years, you know? And as I thought, oh, it's just what happens when you get older, you start gaining weight here and there in these weird places. Maybe you gain a pound every year. And that's really what it was. It was like a pound every year of weight that I lost instantaneously, it felt like. Um, and I've honestly, I haven't felt better since I was 21, since I was a kid. So I feel really happy as well, uh, less anxious, um, better mood. Um, I mean, overall, I just feel like a totally new person. So. You know, that's one story. And of course, you know, everyone's different. Maybe you guys have a different issue than I do. And maybe there's something else that uh, maybe you guys need to read or look into. But I'll tell you what, for health, there isn't a better person to look towards than this doctor, Dr. Mark Hyman, just like me um, or anybody else that you look for in life for advice or for information. There's a lot of information out there. The problem is you got to know where to look and it's not always correct. It's not always right. I don't claim to always be right. I don't claim to always be correct, but I try my best to find out what the actual truth is. And certainly without a doubt, there is always that one person you should be listening to and everybody else is kind of just noise. So uh, for me, that person in my health is Dr. Mark, Mark Hyman and, uh, if you want to, uh, you know, start listening to this guy or not listen to this guy, it doesn't matter to me. This is what I'm going to be uh, supporting. So anyway, that is, I guess, the end now of the video, guys. Is the that's how the giveaway is going to work. That's all the details on it, the varieties that you will receive or potentially will receive, how to actually enter into the giveaway. Don't forget to include your address. Um, don't forget to actually uh, donate the $50. Um, and yeah, subscribe to the blog. That's how you guys are going to know that you're notified of when I create this potential blog post. And we will see everybody soon. All right, guys. Take care. Happy to do this. We will uh, see you for the next one. All right. Take care.